Hey girls, hey guys, I'm Sakura. I'm going to show you Japanese old style room like this. We call this kind of room washitsu. So let's start with this. This part, this slide door. This is called shoji. This part is made by paper, this part. It's harder than usual paper, but still it's easy to get some holes. So if you poke like this, I don't do that, but it's very easy to make a hole. If you have a cat or a little kid, you can't stop them to break it actually. But this paper part is replaceable. You can buy this paper at store. And next about floor. Japanese style room need to be with tatami floor like this. This is also very Japanese thing. Can you see tatami surface? It's made by igusa. Igusa is a kind of plant. This one, this tatami, is already old, but the new tatami have good smell of igusa. As, as you can see, this room has six tatamis. To describe the size of the room, we use how many tatami can fit in the room. So this room is six tatami size. And next, here, this slide door. This is not shoji. This one is called fusuma. The surface is also made by some kind of paper but not easy to break like shoji. I can poke like this. And uh, there is one more same style room with this. The other side of this, you know, four fusuma slide doors. So if you remove all four slide doors, the these two rooms going to be big one room. This is one of the future of old Japanese house. We hardly do that now, but in old era, wedding, funeral, and some kind of party, they need to help those at home. So big room like this was needed. So. That's it about Japanese style room. If you have questions, please send a comment to this video. See you next time.